Good morning, morning, guys. Yes, it's Tony from Business East Africa. Uh, welcome. So today I'm in uh, Gedorai 45 in another farm called uh, Mwehoko Dairy. Yeah, they, uh, it's, a, it's a daily, it's a goat daily farm. And uh, it's not your usual daily goat daily farm. Yeah? Let me show you what I mean. First, you notice that it's in a very, very small piece of land. It's sitting on uh, less than a quarter acre of land. It right from the gate. You see, that's the offices and uh, farm hunt uh, house, uh, water storage, uh, washrooms, then everything else sitting on uh, that space. So I met up with the owner, uh, Mr. Masharia. Hi, Masharia. Hello. What you've been able to achieve here mm -hmm. on this piece of land, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Okay. Congratulations, man. Thank you. So I'm thinking, eh? Yeah. Right from the beginning, how, how does all this come together? How, how is the planning stage of, of such a project? Oh, well, my name is Robert Masharia. Yes. I'm the director mm -hmm. of Mwehoko Daily Good. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for the last 11 years, okay. and uh, it has been long, mm -hmm. but uh, I thank God that I've made it to this level. Okay. For a, a new person who really wants to start this, mm -hmm. need first of all to uh, get the basic okay. of the requirement uh, you require when uh, uh, you want to do a farming like this one. Mm -hmm. Number one, you need to understand that this is a, a farming whereby we call it an urban farming. Mm -hmm. So it entails a very small space of land. Mm -hmm. So you need to have the basic information about the uh, daily goat farming, especially in an urban area, which is very important mm -hmm. uh, because it will give you the it will give you the it will enlighten you mm -hmm. in regards to. Or, or what you'll face along the way when you start something like this. Okay. So yeah. when you say, so when you say an urban setup, eh? Yeah. Is it different from uh, what you used to in the, in the villages, or where yeah. you have enough uh, land? This is very different mm -hmm. compared to what most of the people used to know. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you come here, like my farm here, mm -hmm. it's measuring uh, 40 feet by 60. 40 by 60. Yeah, that is uh, less than one eighth of a plot yes so uh, of an acre mm -hmm. that means you need to to plan yourself very well mm -hmm. so that uh, you don't make a mistake mm -hmm. when you come here we first of all advise uh, a new farmer who intend to be a farmer like us mm -hmm. to understand first of all three things mm -hmm. number one you need to understand that we are doing uh, a farming uh, we are calling it an urban farming mm -hmm. in urban farming you have uh, to know that it has two main pillars mm -hmm. one of the pillars you need to change your mind from uh, the, the, the 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 urban farming you know mm -hmm. to what you call smart farming mm -hmm. in smart farming is whereby you need to focus on what are the advantages and the disadvantages mm -hmm. in urban farming <coughs> you see that uh, uh, you'll get one of the biggest challenge as uh, the space mm -hmm. then the other uh, challenge you'll face is about the feeding mm -hmm. so you'll need to embrace the method we call smart farming in terms of the feeding mm -hmm. a smart farming in terms of the feeding is whereby you require to feed your animal in terms of quality but not quantity mm -hmm. so this means you need to change mm -hmm. You are farming from how you used to know your parents uh, were doing it or how your grandfather were doing it. Traditional. Traditional methods. Mm -hmm. Then you change to a method uh, we are calling smart farming. Fantastic. Uh, that's the reason why you can see I've stocked a lot of uh, hay glass. Yes. Because now I'm planning myself. Mm -hmm. For an example, when you come here, mm -hmm. you can even question me and wonder mm -hmm. how am I managing uh, over eight goats here. Mm -hmm. I'm managing them because I'm doing the smart farming. Okay. Uh, the other thing you need to understand in smart farming is whereby you, you, you need to accept that you are near to the market. That is one of the biggest advantage. Mm -hmm. Like me now, mm -hmm. when I'm here, mm -hmm. it is an added advantage of farming like this mm -hmm. because I'm so close to the market. Yes. 
currently here we are doing over 70 editors mm -hmm. and actually it's learning out of stock mm -hmm. every day every day yes. because of the location of the market my market is just next door market is just the next door mm. so those are the the challenges, I mean, the advantage and the disadvantage. Yes. Then you need to change your mind now. Mm -hmm. You see, we have started from urban farming, yes. smart farming. Mm -hmm. Then also you need to bring into your mind that you need to do what you are calling agribusiness. Yes. In agribusiness is whereby now mm -hmm. you need to understand yourself mm -hmm. as a farmer. Mm -hmm. You are a farmer, but you are doing a business. Yes. So this is a business like any other. Yes. So when I'm a farmer today, mm. I should not feel like discriminated mm -hmm. when other people are doing hardware shops at butcheries. Yes. I'm also doing a business here. Yes. Yes. So I have invested a lot here. So mm -hmm. a new farmer needs to know that he needs to invest in his business. Yes. Because this is a business like any other. Mm -hmm. When we come to that, also we focus on on a farmer himself you need also to accept that when when you become a farmer mm -hmm. you are also as equal to other tasks mm -hmm. just like the way a teacher a doctor all of them you can mention them an engineer mm -hmm. so when even people come to visit you mm -hmm. you really need to, to to put it into yourself that this is your work mm -hmm. just like the way you go to doctor and you you, you pay for consultation fee yes. because you are doing your farming in a business way mm -hmm. you need also to uh, put some fees mm. so that when people come to your farm for farm they can yes. see the the worthy yes. of what you are doing through the uh, payments you they, they can make okay so you Those accept are the, uh, farm visits in your, in your farm eh? yes i normally accept the farm visits in my farm mm -hmm. because also that's the only way i can use to nurture the new people mm -hmm. who are intending to start like what I'm doing. Ah, okay. Yeah. And it's also um, an extra stream of income. Uh, that's why we have called it uh, an agribusiness, you know? Yes. So, At, when you hear about the agribusiness, mm -hmm. is whereby there is an income. Mm. That means at the end of the day, mm -hmm. there's something you'll take to your home. Wow. There's something you can take to your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, let's get into it. Yeah. So what was the planning like for, for this particular farm? Uh, so you sat down and decided I'm going to start with the For three this goats. particular yeah. farm, mm -hmm. uh, to be sincere, it was a journey. Mm -hmm. It was a journey which has taken me 11 years <laughs> up to date. Yes. Uh, and whereby, to me, when I was starting it, mm -hmm. I could not see it as this big. Mm -hmm. uh, because when I started it, I just only needed milk for my family. Mm -hmm. So thereafter, I started getting some few customers who are like inquiring whether they can get a cup of milk, mm -hmm. a glass of milk, a cup of milk every day, mm -hmm. a half liter, then a liter. Mm -hmm. Then later, I saw an opportunity which was un uh, uh, not untapped. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went further and now increased my animals. Mm -hmm. Little did I know it mm -hmm. will come to be this big. So when I'm, when I'm advising a new person to do this, mm -hmm. first of all, is about even the passion. The passion. The passion I had when I was starting it, mm -hmm. it is the one which has made me to grow to this far. It has driven you to this Yeah, it has driven me to, the, to this far. How many goats did you start with again? Uh, I started with only two goats. Only two, yeah. That was back in uh, around the, the year 20, 2012. 2012. Yeah. Now you're at uh, about 70, 80, 82. Around 82 there. 82, yes. Bearing your mind, I've sold a lot of You've goats. You've sold so many of them. Yes. Okay. Along the way. So, Masharia, mm -hmm. walk us through your setup. Uh, um, Karibu Sana, mm -hmm. I want you to see what I've done. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. When you come here, mm -hmm. I have my first lot. Mm -hmm. This is the one which is lactating. Mm -hmm. These are the one uh, lactating yes. animals. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh, nime group mbuzi wangu kuringana na age groups mm -hmm. na pia the lactations. Okay. Yeah, ukiangalia kama hawa, uh -huh. wote ni wale wanakamuliwa na ni wale wamezaa saidi ya mara mbili. Zaidi ya mara mbili. Eh. Uh, okay. Then ukikuja hapa next, mm -hmm. utapata kuna wengine. Mm -hmm. Hawa ni wale pia mm -hmm. wamezaa more than three times mm -hmm. na bado they are they are pregnant. Ah, okay. Hawa so they are still is pregnant. Uh, this group is pregnant but okay. still being milked. Okay. 
So hao huwezi changanya na wale. Okay. Wale yeah. wanaweza sumbua hawa sana mm. sababu hawa wataki stress. Uh-huh. Kwa sasa wanaelekea uh-huh. kwenda dry ile tunaitanga dry period. Mm-hmm. Dry period ni wakati mbuzi yako na mimba mm. lakini sasa akamuliwi. Okay. So hawa wajafika hapo. Wajafika hapo. Because wamezaza walikuwa na maziwa mingi. Mm. So you have to dry them until they go to the dry eh, session. Okay. Ah uh, ukikuja hapa mbele eh. pia utapata kuna hawa. Uh-huh. Hawa ni wale recently wa may give birth. Uh-huh. So hawa ni part of wale very high producers. High producers. Yes as we are talking right now. Okay. Hawa ni wale sasa wako kwa peak kwa sababu hawa tatu hivi. Eh hawa watatu uh-huh. ni sita wote mpaka huko mbele. Hapa mbele. Eh uh-huh. so does that uh, do something in terms of feeding? Na maanisha pia wanapewa hapana kukula wote wanakula the same. Uh-huh. Unless when it comes to the to the supplement. Okay. Ile tunaita daily meal. Eh uh-huh. oh daily meal. Eh uh, supplement extra. sasa hawa mm. ni wale huwezi e, watolea daily meal. Okay. Lakini ukienda kama kwa ile group nyingine tumetoka mm. utapata sasa hiyo tume withdraw daily meal. Ah okay. Supplement. Supplement. Ndio ndio waweze kukata maziwa kwa sababu you want them to dry. Okay. So you cannot continue eh uh-huh. uh, Uh, giving them the supplement mm-hmm. yet unataka kuwa dry maziwa okay. so unapata sasa hao tume tumewakatizia the supplement which is the daily meal na which is the highest producer kwa hao wote uh, highest producer zoezi kuambia ni mgani kwa sababu au mbuzi wote okay. ni kama wakoligi moja wakoligi moja eh hao um, wakoligi moja wote wanatoa kuanzia 4 to 4.5 4.5 eh uh, every day hao ni mbuzi ukikamua asubuhi unakamua lita 2 2 mm-hmm. na nusu yes jioni unakamua lita mbili. Wow. Yes but I have the highest also on the other side nitakuonyesha. Okay. Niko na group nyingine. Yes. Sasa ile tunaitanga ime stabilize. Okay. Uh, iko pande ile nyingine utaiona. Okay. Then when you come to this side yes. these are the kids. These are the kids. Sasa hawa ndio watoto wa hawa. Si nimekwambia hawa ndio recent kuza. Yes. So hawa ndio wamezaa recent, wamezaliwa recent. Uh-huh. So they are still yes. there. You can see them. Uh-huh. Ah ya sasa hawa nao ni wazire sasa mbuzi zingine tutaona pande ile okay. wenye sasa nakwambia wamesha stabilize okay. after kuza. Okay. Eh sasa hawa ni wale waja stabilize. Mm. Sasa watoto wao ni wale wadogo. Yeah. Wale wame stabilize okay. watoto wao si unaona sasa ni wakubwa kidogo. Wakubwa sasa ndio hawa. Okay. Eh that's why utaenda kwa mothers uta, na utaona wame wame stabilize vizuri okay. in terms of the production. Sasa hawa nao ni Awa sasa hii uh-huh. sasa nyingine tunaitanga sick bay. Oh okay. Hii ni sick bay kwa sababu <laughs> za zile ume, ume kuna mbuzi wako mgonjwa uh-huh. unamtoa kwa zile mbuzi zingine. Okay. Ndio isikuwe labda ni ugonjwa anaweza ambukiza wengine. Uh-huh. Ama unapata za zingine mbuzi yako uh-huh. iko na joto inahitaji dume. Uh-huh. So pia wanga tunaiseparate kidogo kwa sababu kuna mbuzi inasumbua sana yes. wakati iko na joto mm. inataka kurukia wengine inataka kuwakanyanga yes. so unaona tu inawasumbua mm-hmm. so una isolate kidogo mm-hmm. ndio mpaka wakati wa hiyo period ya kukua on heat mm-hmm. iishe ndio pia mwili yake itulie mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio au ndio tunawekanga hapa okay. ndio sasa wanakuwa wako pia sawa. sawa so i have the little loss yes. niko na raini tatu za mbuzi mm-hmm. So when we walk on this other side mm-hmm. utaona kuna pia hawa mm-hmm. sasa hawa ni wale nilikuwa nakwambia wamesha stabilize okay. sasa hawa ndio heavy 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 producers hawa ndio highest producers highest producers sasa wako hapa uh-huh. hawa mbuzi uh-huh. ni wale mbuzi unapata wako even sasa hawa ni wale wana compete wao wenyewe kwa wenyewe yes. kwa sababu unapata unapata mbuzi mbuzi kama huyu nacho ni kuonyeshe unapata sasa hawa mbuzi they are comfortable doing 4.5 4.5 eh yeah. na ukikuja uki upate mbuzi kama huyu yeah. mbuzi kama huyu eh yeah. uh, the fourth lactation yeah. and is comfortable doing 4.8 wow every day so these are higher producers that's, a, that, that's very high Ya yeah, mm. sasa hawa mm. hawa ni wale sasa waista kama mchezo na wao. <laughs> eh yeah, sasa hao ndio wametuweka kazi sana hapa. Ah. Yeah, they are doing very well.
hizo ndizo mbuzi za pesa eh sasa hawa sita hapa mm-hmm. hawa wanabishana wao wenyewe kwa wenyewe yes unapata hao mbuzi you cannot even tell who is higher than who mm-hmm. but uh, you will find they are doing very well mm-hmm. uh, in terms of the the production okay. and also in terms of the body size yes you can see they are they are very big goats yeah yeah body size uh, that's how you want eh uh, that's how <laughs> these are the goats which made me to own uh, to win yes. because hakuna mbuzi inge compete na hawa mbuzi kweli kweli zimeshiba zinaonekana eh uh, tena hawa ndi wale mbuzi wakati unataka kwenda kama show mm-hmm. uh, this are now the student tunasemanga they were the best mm. so ndio unaenda na wao okay. so then when we come to this other side mm-hmm. uh uwezi changanya wale mbuzi unakamua uh-huh. uweke karibu na ndume uh-huh. so when you come to this other side now you'll you'll be able to see the male uh-huh. uh, my back yes. which is very far away from the lactating ones okay. because you'll hear most of the people saying uh-huh. maziwa ya mbuzi inanuka uh-huh. maziwa ya mbuzi unuka kwa sababu uh-huh. senge ndiyo inanukanga okay. so ukiweka mbuzi zako kama hizi unakamua uh-huh. usiweke hapa karibu na senge uh-huh ile maziwa ukikamua utasikia inanuka eh iko na kaharufu okay. so what you need to do is uh, separate your meal far away from the lactic, uh, lactating ones okay. but also mm-hmm. you make sure that you train your your meals mm-hmm. to be friendly mm-hmm. not just only the males but all your animals mm-hmm. so you'll find that even if this meal comes out mm-hmm. it's, <laughs> it's very <huge>. friendly <laughs> yeah Eh? kienda pande ile ndio utaichukua yeah. mzuri yeah. kwa sababu ya back, background yes yeah so tona they are very friendly yes they don't fight they listen to you you talk to them yes you know you groom them mm-hmm. you know and they become very friendly to you they cannot even tona uh, na narudi narudi tu kanyumba eh hey, because yeah. ametoka nje yeah. ameona hakuna kazi yake ya nje yeah. so anarudi mahali amezoea yeah. so that's about the training ya your animals mm-hmm. so that even when you 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 walk with them mm-hmm. like in the show ground when they go that's why watu wanashanganga mbuzi wetu mbona tunaongelesha na wanasikia yeah. so animals are uh are animals but they learn also yes. you can teach them then they can be able to understand what you are saying okay when you come here these are also the pregnant ones so sawa ni wale wameenda dry ah okay eh oh. wameenda dry so sawa ni wale wakamliwi iko la miote ni wale wako dry eh hao okay. wako dry sasa uh-huh. they are waiting to kuza mhm sasa ndio wakiza wale wengine nao watakuwa wanaingia dry okay then oh. when you come here unaotanet hivyo kuensure eh kuensure that uh, your production is uh, well maintained okay then when you come this other side you'll find i have other two bags here mm-hmm. because of uh, controlling in breeding mm-hmm. so how and dume nimewaleta kwa sababu ya control in breeding okay so that mm-hmm. means ile ndume kubwa mm-hmm. iko na watoto wengi sana mm-hmm. Uh, so how watoto wake mm-hmm. una make sure that you obey papa yake okay. so this is now the work of these two bats okay. yeah we have the now the german alpine alpine and the french alpine back oh, okay these are the the bats we are using from the young females we have okay uh then when you come to this other side mm-hmm unaona hawa sasa ni wale wasichana they are waiting to be served ah oh, okay. uh, wasichana uh-huh. ni wale sasa tumekuwa tukilea uh-huh. uh, mpaka wafike kiwango ya kupewa ndume okay. hawa wasichana tumewalea sasa kutoka wale watoto uliona wadogo uh-huh. to this level, this level okay. yes most of the people they don't understand that eh, mbuzi inavaa kupewa ndume ikiwa na umri gani uh-huh. hapa kwetu uh-huh. tuna jua ama tumefanya utafiti ya ina inaonyesha ya kwamba mm-hmm. mbuzi unavaa kumpea ndume akiwa na umri wa not less than mwaka mmoja not less than one year yes mm-hmm. huyo msichana ama that do mm-hmm. utaona ime a good height mm-hmm. and a good weight that means ikizaa mm-hmm. even itazaa very comfortable mm-hmm. bila complications mm-hmm. that's why unaona hawa tumewafungia hapa mm-hmm. mpaka wajire wafike mwaka mmoja oh, okay. 
ndio then wasafiwe nice. then when you come to this other side mm -hmm. awa sasa ni wale pia mm -hmm. walikuwa wasichana mm -hmm. na sasa wamesha eh wandume okay. so all these are now uh, above one year yes. so this means they are they are already pregnant okay this is now what i'm using to increase my uh, flock okay yes kama kuna yule nauza i retain the rest mm -hmm. to increase my flock here nice because you, you have to keep on increasing mm -hmm. na tuseme kwa mfano kama kuna mbuzi yule amezeeka sana mm -hmm. unataka kumtoa mm -hmm. and need to be replaced sasa hapa ndio uanga na select wale mbuzi watapaki ah. kwa my farm mm -hmm. ndio wali place wale wazee because now wale wazee unataka kuwaondoa yes uh, lastly when you come here mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry this is another flock here mm -hmm. Okay. Awa sasa nao ni wale wasichana tunaita teenagers. Okay. Teenagers ni wale wasichana hawaja machua kabisa mm -hmm. na ndio wametoka kwa utotoni. Okay. So wametoka sasa huko. Eh yes, wametoka sasa ile side ya watoto okay. wadogo. So kutoka hapa wakuje. Yes, sasa wakitoka hapa ndio watakuja mm -hmm. hapa. Yes. Yeah. Then mahali pengine pia watu wanafanyanga makosa kwa ukulima mm -hmm. ni kuwa hawa mm -hmm. immediately wamefika 5 months mm -hmm. una wasepalate with the with the with the box okay. the ndume yes. so that's why unaangalia nyume yako uh -huh. unapata kuna wale ndume walika yao ah okay unaona yes. so these are now the brothers to these ones ah, okay. why are you separating them mm -hmm. you are separating them because our ndume mm -hmm. the moment wamefika miezi 5 miezi 6 yeah. wanataka kuanza kurukia mbuzi mm -hmm. so you separate them because pia hao ndume mm -hmm. unataka wajire vizuri unataka wamachue enough so that wakuwe ndume wa maana okay. so just like the way tunalea the ile the ya, ya, ya female yeah. also the back need to uh, be mature enough okay. so that now it can uh, give you a good breed so okay. i always teach my uh, young farmers that mm. you don't need to breed your back just because it can mount mm -hmm. make sure that it has reached the age of mounting okay so he ndume inavaa kupanda ikiwa pia na mwaka mmoja above one year above one year okay that's how i have arranged my animals yes uh because now like when you hear like any noise mm. uh and you can detect that noise labda ni mbuzi ambayo anataka kuza mm -hmm. you know where you can target yes you don't walk around the all the cages mm. utajua mahali uta target then ukijua mbuzi imetoa kelele kama mbuzi inatoa inataka ndume mm -hmm. you know where to target yes then again kama ni ku milk mm -hmm. when you are milking you are not going to all the cages yes when the time for milking comes you know where to, to go okay. like ukiingia kwa ile cage yenye zenye zinakamuliwa you can milk and come out with your milk once So when uh, you're in the market for a buck <laughs> yes and uh, you're in a farm like this one eh mm -hmm. what features should i be looking at when uh, uh, trying to identify a, a, a good quality buck uh, number one, when you are when you want to like purchase a buck mm -hmm. uh, and you you have gone ama you have come like to a farm like this one mm -hmm. There are quite a number of things you need to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, the farmer who is selling you the animal need to give you the history. Because you cannot see the history by looking at the animal like this. Yes. Kama sasa kwa mfano mbuzi kama huyu, uwezi jua historia yake unless upewe. Ndio mm -hmm. ujue baba alikuwa nani, mama alikuwa nani. Yes. Ndio ujue generation yake. Mm -hmm. Na ndio itakupatia hata genetics. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there are few things a farmer can look. But number one, mm -hmm. naangalianga the the size okay. of the goat. Yes. Ukiangalia kwa mfano mbuzi kama huyu yeah. na venye anaonekana ni mkubwa, huyu mm -hmm. mbuzi record yake mm -hmm. inasema ako na mwaka mmoja na miezi nane. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hajafika miaka mbili. Yes. So ukiangalia umri wa mwaka mmoja na miezi nane mm -hmm. na size yake ya mwili. Mm -hmm. 
that tells you already it's a very good good mm -hmm. because when you look at this size <laughs> and the, the one and a half 1.8 mm -hmm. months yes that means is a very good goat. Okay. The other thing you look is the, the color of your goat. Yes. Uh, the color, if it comes to like alpines, mm -hmm. they have the brown color with a, a stripe, black okay. stripe yes. on the neck. Mm -hmm. So also that's another thing you need. Akuna venya mutu atakwambia, ini alpine, like on a rangi a white. Yes. Naona? Akuna venya mutu atakwambia, ini alpine, like on a rangi a gray. So that tells you there is a problem there. But yes. uki mtu akikwambia kwa mfano ni alpine mm -hmm. na uone ya kona kala kama hizi ziko na huyu mbuzi mm -hmm. eh, that shows is a good eh, goat. Another thing we look at maybe when it comes to a buck like this one mm -hmm. eh, we look at so the teeth. Okay. The teeth normally when we check them eh mtu anaweza kukuambia hii mbuzi iko na mwaka mmoja na nusu. Yes. Uh, but iku iko na miaka ine ama miaka tano mm -hmm. how will you know mm -hmm. tunaangalia nga meno ukiangalia meno ya huyu mbuzi mm -hmm. unaona hako na meno kubwa hizi mm -hmm. ziko katikati mm -hmm. na bado hako na tumeno tuingine tudogo yes. utu tuko kando yes. this means uh -huh. hii tumeno tudogo uh -huh. itule ya lizaliwa nazo okay. so zili ya lizaliwa nazo azijamaliza kungoka kwa mfano pia ya kwanza mm -hmm huyo mbuzi anavaa kuwa na mwaka mmoja. Mm -hmm. Akingoka the next pair mm -hmm. anakuanga na mwaka mmoja na nusu. The other thing pia tunaangalianga mm -hmm. ni the now the, the, the body size. Yes. Ukiangalia huyu mbuzi mm -hmm. hata kutembea kwake mm -hmm. hata hiyo activeness. Yes. Unaona venye ako active? Yes. That tells you already is a healthy goat. Okay. That gives it a lot of marks. Unajua kuna mbuzi anatolewa nje mm -hmm. unapata hata kutembea ni shinda. Yes. Definitely hiyo inakuonyesha nini? There is a problem. Mm -hmm. Sana sana in uh, nutritional. Okay. Aya, the other thing tunaangalia kwa mbuzi kama huyu mm -hmm. pia ni the fur itself, hii manyoya yake. Yes. Unaona ina ina meremeta ni kama imepakwa mafuta. Yes. That tells you also mm -hmm. is a good goat and it has been fed well. Okay. So that means that farmer mm -hmm. Uh, is a farmer who knows what he or she is doing. Okay. Uh, when lastly it comes to meal, yes. you look also uh, the testicles. Okay. Ukiangalia huyu senge, mm -hmm. kwa mfano, mm -hmm. eh, ukiangalia the testicles zake, yes. zinatoshana uh -huh. na zimehang vizuri. Yes. Ukiangalia nyuma yake, uh -huh. so ukiangalia hizi testicles, mm -hmm. they are the same, mm -hmm. they are the same size, mm -hmm. Na sio zile zimerefuka sana chini mm -hmm. na zijahangi sana pale juu. Yes. So ziko hapo katikati. Mm -hmm. That tells you even the performance of a buck like this one mm -hmm. is very good. Mm -hmm. Na tuseme kwa mfano amezalisha mbuzi mm -hmm. alafu ikazaa kama sichana. Mm -hmm. That female mm -hmm. will have a very good udder mm -hmm. compared now to the father's uh, testicles. Oh, okay. So unapata sasa hiyo pia inampea max. In terms of feeding, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to training about feeding this animal, mm -hmm. uh, feeding is the longest topic. Mm -hmm. This means feeding, mm -hmm. you need to understand it very well. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. We normally say for you to achieve uh, a good uh, production in this animal, mm -hmm. you need four things. Yes. One, you need the breed, mm -hmm. you need feeding, mm -hmm. you need housing, mm -hmm. and you need the management. Okay. When it comes to the four of them, mm -hmm. feeding carries like 60%. Okay. So you see now it has the biggest share. Yes. So feeding is very important. Mm -hmm. Kwa mfano, mm -hmm. ukikuja kwa hawa mbuzi wangu, mm -hmm. uangalie hivi, mm -hmm. ni nini hii wanakura? Lusan. Wanakula a mixture of Lusan mm -hmm. and Aboma Rhodes. Okay. So, hawa mbuzi si kukula tu wanakula. Yes. Tunaangalia wanakula nini. Yes. Mkulima pale tuliongea kuhusu smart farming. Mm -hmm. You need to understand you need to feed your animal in terms of quality, not quantity. Yes. Kwa hivyo hawa mbuzi wetu, tuwapei tu nyazi mm -hmm. wa shibe. Yes. Tunawapea nyazi wa kule, wapate hile kitu mwiri inaitaji. Yes. 
Okay? Yes. And that's why when you are feeding your animal, you need to understand. Mm -hmm. Kama sasa dusani ni nini? Mm -hmm. Dusan is a protein. Mm -hmm. Bomarodes ni nini? Mm -hmm. Bomarodes is a carbohydrate. Yes. So when you mix the two, mm -hmm. now you, you, you understand very well that your animal is eating a very well balanced diet. Diet, okay. Then from there, you need to understand mm -hmm. why give it protein at this level mm -hmm. and carbohydrate to this level. Okay. Most of the people they think that because an appendix and a protein mm -hmm. upe a mingi. Okay. Ukipe a mingi, then iyo pia inakuwa ni umeikosea. Why? This animal kuna ile percentage ya protein wanga inaitaji. Yes. When you give a lot of protein, then it a cause damage. Why? All the proteins, excess uh, consumption of protein mm -hmm. in a letter nini? Asara. Kwa nini? Iko na side effect. Okay. All the proteins have the side effect. That's the reason why ata wewe, mayayi unakuranga mbili. Yes. Mazua unakunyuanga grass moja. Yes. Kwa nini usikunyue rita moja? Mm -hmm. Because of the side effect. Yes. But when it comes to carbohydrates, mm -hmm. the carbohydrates, they don't have side effects. Yes. So let it take as much as it will require in terms of the carbohydrates. Okay. So what because that, also carbohydrate mm -hmm. is like a feeder material in the stomach. Ah, okay. Yes. So what are, what are the ratios of uh, The ratios vitamins? we normally use mm -hmm. one is to two. One is to two. Yes. So we one use day. one lusan mm -hmm. versus two of bomarods, oh, okay. which is now the carbohydrates. Okay. Yes, that's the ratio like now here we are using. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you go a step further with the supplementation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you supplementing your goats with? Uh, first of all, you need to understand why supplement. Okay. You supplement because mm -hmm. you have already fed your animal mm -hmm. with all what it requires. Okay. Balanced diet, yes. Balanced diet. Mm -hmm. Then you do the supplement. Okay. What is the work of the supplement? Mm. The supplement is the one makes this animal to produce more milk. Okay. But if you fail when it comes to the main cause, the well-balanced diet, mm -hmm. even if you supplement, mm -hmm. uh, you won't get milk. Why? Kwa sababu, wakati ujapea uyu mbuzi majani kwanza ashibe vizuri ile iko well balanced mm -hmm. hata ukimpea supplement mm -hmm. supplement itaenda ku fill that kabak mm -hmm. kagab kaliacho yes so kwa hawa mbuzi tunasema hivi mm -hmm. ukimlisha vizuri na well balanced diet mm -hmm. it requires only 1 kg mm -hmm. of a supplement, of supplement which is the daily meal the daily meal then utapata huyo mbuzi mm. anakutolea maziwa vizuri mm. so mimi mbuzi wangu hapa wanakula a mixture of bomarods and rusan at a ratio of 1 is to 2 mm -hmm. then we supplement them with daily meal mm -hmm. at 1 kg mm -hmm. per goat and the daily meal which is now the supplement mm -hmm. is only given to those animals which are lactating mm -hmm. or pregnant oh, okay. only so the less they don't take the supplement. Okay. When I feed this goat with a very well balanced diet, mm -hmm. it consumes very little. Okay. Then if it consumes very little, mm -hmm. then it will give me a very higher production. Okay. So that means kuyumbuzi kama mimi hapa nimembudgetia only 100 shillings every day. Oh, okay. Out of each akura unaona anakura ikionekana ikiwa expensive yes, hivyo. Yes. Lakini naye uh -huh. the output yake uh -huh. inakuwa mzuri sana. Yeah. Then that's how I get my profit. So now you because you have a flock of over 80 right? Yes. How then do you now you every goat you have allocated about uh, 100 shillings a day. Yes. How then do you balance mm -hmm. between uh, the producing mm -hmm. and uh, the other ones, mm -hmm. so that you don't you don't end up having uh, passengers in your flock. Because this is a business, yes. you also need to do your quick calculations. Mm -hmm. How much are they consuming? All of them. Uh -huh. I do like this. Uh -huh. I I assume, or I take the number of the folder they eat every day. All mm -hmm. of them. Yes. So like all these goats, they eat only six bales of. Uh, Hey, hey yeah. made be Rusan made the bomber roads. Mm -hmm. So what I do is now I know what is the cost of the six bills. Mm -hmm. Then I divide it mm -hmm. to all my animals. Ah, okay. Made be the male, made be to the 
females which are not lactating may it be the ones which are lactating. Yes. Then I get an average uh, cost mm -hmm. of learning every goat here. Mm -hmm. Then I learn that again it's what I'm getting on a daily basis okay. in terms of the milk. Okay. So you'll find that if I'm doing like 72 liters, mm -hmm. they are eating like half of that yeah. amount. Okay. Without now counting mm -hmm. Inakuliwa na wale wanakamuliwa peke yake. Oh yes. Because pia huyu anakamuliwa kuna sigu hata kuwa anakamuliwa. Yes. Na ya hata kuwa anasimamiwa cost Atakuwa yake na nani na yule mwingine. Yes. So that's what I do. You mentioned that uh, you're, you're running it in an approach that is in a, like a hardware or a normal business, right? Yes. So uh, you, you have a farm manager, you have a farm hand. Yes. So you as a proprietor and a director. Yes. What exactly is your role in this farm, in the normal day-to-day -day operation of the farm? My role is uh, we, we have uh, separated the roles mm -hmm. because when it comes to like my farm hand, mm -hmm. he knows his role mm -hmm. is to take care of all these animals, day-to-day mm -hmm. -day learnings mm -hmm. in terms of now manually. Yes. When it comes to my manager, he knows that uh, the role is to make sure that all the operations are in order. Yes. And also the uh, receiving the orders yes. and the distribution of the milk mm -hmm. and also receiving the guests yes. who normally come here every day. Yes. My role here mm -hmm. as a director is to oversee now mm -hmm. all the operations versus the uh, manual work mm -hmm. is done as per the level I want. Okay. And also my main role is also to make sure that mm -hmm. I get more information in regards to the new technologies which are coming up. Okay. So that now, if my farm hand and my farm manager need to go for a training, yes. I should be now the one to uh, direct them. This is where we need to improve. This is where we need to go and get some more information. Mm -hmm. This is where also we need to do the research mm -hmm. and and other works which require maybe movement. Okay. When it, it also comes to like now changing the bags, yes. I'm the one who now source there where to get these bags from. Okay. Because now you cannot let your manager do that. Yes. Because she cannot maybe travel outside the country. Yes. So that's also my role. Okay. At the end of the day is also to manage the accounts. Yes. What needs to be bought, mm -hmm. it has to come from me. Yes. My manager has to report to me mm -hmm. every day that we require this, we require this. Okay. Then I need to authorize that okay. because of the misuse. Okay. Yes. So now, being a director, yeah. do you get now a monthly salary like the rest of the team or do you get uh, dividends at the end of the year? How, how, how no, do no, you no, run no. such a... No, when it comes to finances, mm -hmm. we, we, we leave it separated mm -hmm. in a way that since we don't have the finance department, mm -hmm. Uh, my manager does that. Okay. So all the costings we incur here, mm. we normally uh, need to record it. Yes. May it be salaries, mm -hmm. may it be whatever we are buying. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my side, mm -hmm. now it's about what is left oh, okay. after the, all the operations and all the costings. Uh -huh. But also when it, that one comes, mm -hmm. then I need to separate mm -hmm. a certain amount, mm -hmm. which now need to be kept aside because of learning this yes. project. Yes. For an example, mm -hmm. I want to expand this farm. Mm -hmm. Where will that uh, finances come from? No, yes. So that's why you need, uh, okay, I decided to do like a circle. Okay. There is a money which goes to circle okay. every month. Yes. That is not my money. Uh -huh. That is not salary, mm -hmm. but that's money for this farm. Okay. Because this farm requires a car. Oh. Where are we going to get that farting from? Yes. That is now the money we, we, we know, I normally use. So you, you eat last? Yes, After I eat everything else the is last. taken care of, yes. you, you get the... Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yes. You're, you're the vision carrier, so you, yes. you carry the heaviest burden. Yes. Man. Yeah. Okay. So you also do a validation. That one is uh, what I actually picked when I first saw you, yeah. and it's very interesting. You're making soap out of uh, <laughs> daily goat milk. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah? yeah. So how did you come to, to that part, point? Uh, I did uh, that because of several things. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started mm -hmm. my farming, mm -hmm. and uh, I did the 
the fresh milk way, mm -hmm. it came and opened other doors. Yes. And one of the doors mm -hmm. is that I realized mm -hmm. most of my milk partakers, mm -hmm. they are like getting bored yes. by the milk. Why? Mm -hmm. Like 70% of my customers, mm -hmm. they are under medication. Yes. And since these people are under medication, mm -hmm. Like fifty percent of them, mm -hmm. they are young kids. Yes. Watoto wandogo. Mm -hmm. So unapata wanakuwa wanaboe kasa na naira maziwa. Mm -hmm. So ni kanza kufikiria. What else can I do? Yes. For them to take this milk. Mm -hmm. Dio ni kaingia kwanza kwa yogurt. Okay. So kwa yogurt ni kalielize mm -hmm. how watoto wana fresh or sana na yogurt. Mm -hmm. Kuliko fresh milk. Yes. So so happened yo pia ni kakuja ni kaona mm -hmm. this is just like the way mtu unasikia anga akisema sikuri waru yes. lakini nakura chips. Mm -hmm. Kwa ni chips si waru? Ni waru. Ni waru. <laughs> so this means what? Kwa ni yogurt si maziwa mm -hmm. bado ni maziwa. Yes. It's only that imetaniwa tu kidogo mm -hmm. ikaonekana na jia ingine. Yes. So na unapata sasa ule mtoto mm -hmm. instead ya kukunywa the fresh milk yes. anakunywa ikiwa yogurt. Yes. Bado si amekunywa maziwa ya mbuzi. Yes, Then tukiwa hapo mm -hmm. tukalialize kuna hao watu wako na what you are calling the skin disorder. Okay. In skin disorder mm -hmm. is whereby you will find that there is a quite number of people mm -hmm. who have the problem with their skins. Mm -hmm. So I started looking at how can I help them? Mm -hmm. I did my research and saw that uh, you can make a soap mm -hmm. and body cream mm -hmm. using the goat milk. Mm -hmm. When you are using the goat milk, mm -hmm. there is no other chemical you require. Mm -hmm. That means the people who have the skin disorder, mm -hmm. it favors them a lot okay. and it doesn't have the side effect. Okay. Yes. So you, you're making them here? Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm making it here. Ah, okay. Yes, That's very I'm formulating it here. Yes. Yeah. And have you been able to uh, get it into the shelves? Not yet because of the percentage of the production I'm doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was still doing what we call a, a, a piloting. Eh? Okay. So, nikuwa tu na ijaribu na nikaona imeanza kumove. But now, uh, because of the space also here, uh -huh. I ni allow ku, kupata the, the light authorities yes. uh, documentations uh -huh. for me to do uh, in terms of bulk. Okay. So, that's why uh, I have decided also to start another farm yes. whereby I'll have now a bigger space yes. which can allow me mm -hmm. to set up now uh, a different uh, maybe warehouse mm -hmm. whereby now I can say that's now the, the value additional center. Okay. Yes, using my products. Okay. Yeah. So in the, in the bigger farm, you, you'll be able to produce your own uh, fodder? I will be able to use, uh, uh, I'm looking at it I don't want to finish this farm. Yes. But to the level I have grown, mm -hmm. this farm, uh, because of the space, mm -hmm. there are things which are, are, are limiting me to do. Yes. So I've decided to start another new farm, mm -hmm. which will be working hand in hand with this farm, eh? okay. in terms of like now getting the fodder. Yes. That farm is a little bit bigger because it's seven acres. Okay. So from the seven acres, mm -hmm. I can be able to grow enough fodder mm -hmm. whereby. I can bring it here mm -hmm. and reduce my uh, cost of production. Cost of production. Yes. Also on the other side, I can be able to do even if it's a warehouse. Yes. I might also think of doing the packaging of the milk. Yes. Like now here, mm -hmm. I don't have a space where I can bring a chiller machine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a pasteurizing machine. Yes. It requires a special housing and special area for them. But now mm -hmm. there, I can be able to do that. Yes. That's my vision in another maybe two years to That's come. That's what we call uh, cottage industries. Yes. That's awesome. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. In that venture. And mm. I hope you, you at one point invite us <laughs> and uh, come experience your, your bigger farm. Yes, I yeah, understand it. the importance of this farm uh, when it comes to even access to the market. You're yes. in a very, very prime area. Yes. But at the concluded, just concluded Nairobi International Trade Fair. Yeah. You emerged the winner. Yes. You know what that means in in terms of uh, that's a national event. Yes. So you're the best of the best in the country. Yes. So as the best of the best, mm -hmm. what are some of the mistakes that common mistakes that you've seen other yeah. farmers 
do that sometimes lead to failure in the in the venture one of the mistakes i've seen mm -hmm. most of the farmers mm -hmm. they are just like the way me and you when we were in school yes we fear ch being challenged mm -hmm. When I normally go to a trade fair like Nairobi ASK, mm -hmm. my intention is to go and measure myself mm -hmm. how far I am mm -hmm. and how far I have gone. Yes. The, uh, compared to other farmers. Yes. When I go there and I matched the winner, mm -hmm. even me, I was shocked mm -hmm. because I didn't thought that, that this is how big my project is mm -hmm. and this how good I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So I felt good mm -hmm. and I felt encouraged. Wow. And this also made me to feel motivated mm -hmm. because that's why even people like you, mm -hmm. you are looking for me. Yes. If I didn't go there, mm -hmm. you could have not seen me. The biggest mistake is, uh, number one, is uh, when it comes to feeding. Mm -hmm. yes. The other point is the level of education to our farmers. Wow. Okay. Our farmers need to educate themselves. Yes. Not because you really need to become a, 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 a trainer, mm -hmm. but because of your own person benefit in your farm. Mm -hmm. To my analysis, mm -hmm. most of the farmers are very down mm -hmm. in terms of information. Yes. A farmer who cannot pay to go and learn, mm -hmm. to go and educate yourself, mm -hmm. to me, that's not a farmer. Mm -hmm. Today's farming is done by people who are really uh, educated and who really need to improve in terms of the new technologies. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So I must mention something very, very interesting about uh, your housing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most in most instances as farmers, we are, we are forced to sacrifice uh, yes. form. Yeah because of functionality. Yeah. You have gone for both. Yes. It is both beautiful and equally as functional. Yes. And that is something I must point out. Yeah. Yes. When you come like now here, yeah. the way you can see my structure, mm -hmm. uh, I first of all focused on this project mm -hmm. is like an industry mm -hmm. which is producing the food stuff. Yes. In every industry which is producing food stuff mm -hmm. needs a lot of cleanliness. Yes. So when I'm doing my structure, mm -hmm. I focused on one, mm -hmm. the cleanliness of the product which will come out here. Yes. And that product mm -hmm. will not be clean if my animals are not clean. Yes. So the kind of the structure I've done here mm -hmm. is to make sure that first my animals are clean. Yes. When they are clean, mm -hmm. they get a lot of comfort yes that's where you can see most of them mm -hmm. they eat very comfortably yes and then they sleep yeah very comfortably this means what mm -hmm. they are very comfortable yeah then when it comes to this structure mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on your location mm -hmm. like now here mm -hmm. there was a challenge of the space yes the space is the one made me to now mm -hmm. design the way you can see it mm -hmm. uh Goats are down, mm -hmm. the storage is upstairs. Mm -hmm. This also gives me a good reason why I did it like this, mm -hmm. because if I didn't construct it like this, mm -hmm. show me where I can construct my storage. Yeah. There is no space. Yes. So there's a, there's, there was a lot mm -hmm. I did in terms of the research mm -hmm. on my own, mm -hmm. And that's why this one, I didn't learn it from anywhere. This wow. is my own findings. Yes. And that's why I feel so good when people like you and you come here, then you, you, you tell me that yes. I've done a good you job. You sat down and designed it. It looks yes. like uh, something. I'm not an engineer, but I yes. designed it. Yeah. Yes. It, you can tell. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Masharia. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, we get be able to interact more. Yeah. And maybe even visit the other farm, okay. the bigger farm okay. in the future. In the meantime, I wish you all the best. Thank Continue you. Continue doing uh, the good work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, urging my viewers and uh, where, wherever they are watching us from, mm -hmm. the day you enter a supermarket and uh, kutara with a, a soap, a yeah. bar of soap yeah. or a yogurt, yeah. uh, mwihoko dairy, yeah. please kumbuka Mr. Mashari. <laughs> That's auntie. Yeah, it's been a journey and I know and I understand. Yeah. And uh, I'm very, very happy to be here. Sure. Yes. Asante sana kwa kukuja. Yes. Karibuni. Asante. Aye.